All right, Shades here with the Corvette boys. I'm here with JP. For the alternators going bad, you'll notice for you guys that don't know either, your car will pull a little, you know, loose as you're starting it up or when you turn all your accessories on, say your radio, your lights, and your AC, you'll start to notice the voltage go down. Whatever goes down towards like 12.5, 12.7, anything under 13, 13.2 is a little low too. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you guys from beginning to end on how to cover everything up and make sure you um, like I said, I always cover everything up, but I didn't make sure to um, how to unbutton everything up, where the tensioner belt is, and we're gonna fast forward, you know, us unbutton everything up and show you from the beginning in on um, pretty much how to change everything. Look what we have here, y'all. This is a 15, 15 millimeter right here. It's a deep right? dish right there. And I have my uh, breaker bar here, right? So we're gonna go right on top of this, this bolt here. Roll it forward a little bit. You see the see the belt loosening up here. See the belt? Where's very loose here? I'm pressing this. Okay. All right, shade. You can go on the other side and just pull that uh, off the alternator. Just make sure it doesn't fall all the way, all the way down. All right, as it pushes forward on the breaker bar, see the, the, really slowly. the tension take it off will come off. But you slowly. can take it off real slowly just hold like it up this. in the air for now. In the same position, we're gonna tie it up. And let me see if I can take it off. Actually, okay, I may not slowly. be able to do it with two hands. I'm gonna roll it forward a little more to loosen it up. Just hold it tight, though. Go it again. Yep. There it okay, goes. See okay. how it comes off yep, right yep. there? Let it stay. Now, what I want you to do, just hold it in that position. Keep pulling up on it. Yep. yep. Pull up on it because we're gonna tie that up so it doesn't fall all the way down. Okay. So make now, one thing I didn't mention earlier. Most people recommend that you most likely do it. Some people say you don't have to. Uh, we do it just for the safety of it. It's always good to disconnect your battery whenever you mess with anything electrical. Some of those wires are hot over there on the alternator. It's a 10 millimeter right here. Just ratchet, put it on there with a deep dish. Unloosen your negative and take it off and put it to the side. Make sure it doesn't bump anything metal. And then you go forward with moving it and uh, moving off the alternator. So we're going to go back over here now towards the alternator on the other side. So we're going to work on unbuttoning up now. We took all the wires off here. And we're gonna work on taking this wire out right here, and then we're gonna take it off. Take a little screwdriver and go in between here lightly. You see it's beginning to move. You see that move, right? And we're gonna take the alternator out. See? Make sure everything's yep. button. I'm gonna back Sometimes them out. Sometimes you'll get a little stuck and you won't be able to take her out by hand. So just take a little yep. screwdriver like JP's doing here professionally. And get them out of there. And just work them on out of there. It may, may take a little time, but make sure to take your time. And uh, what also helps why we always say to disconnect your battery sometimes when you have your doors locked, you know, the C6 will automatically lock itself when you're wrenching on the car like that and jiggling on it to get it out. You don't want the there alarm to start coming off. There we go. It's coming Stop on out. It comes out right there. Come on out of there. Work her out easily. That way you don't scratch anything and always exactly. cover everything exactly. like how we covered it right here. Yeah. Well, nine times out of ten, them brushes, they done, they done had it, you know, so we're going to pop the new one in. You see this fitting right here? You gotta take that and you take this and take something, put it in there, just tap it back. Tap that back to move it back some. This way, your alternator will go ahead on in there. You see? And we're gonna now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stall top bolt, and then we're gonna stall bottom bolt and hook all the electronics and everything back up. So we'll catch up with you guys once we put the uh, two screws in. And as you know, actually, I'll just time lapse it real quickly so you got way you see us putting it on, putting the two bolts on. I'll just set the camera down on the side and then I'll show you put button everything up and then put the belt back on. Now, uh, we got them all buttoned up over here and now we're gonna work on just clipping to make sure to clipping the wires back on how they work. Uh, this one has a little unscrew bolt right here if you guys can see it you got to unscrew it make sure you don't drop the nut and then uh put it on there get back up and then you gotta put that on first and then put the nut behind it just push your little boot back out of the way and i'll hold this down for you right there now you can do that like that 
run that up. Okay. First one, I gotta tighten that up. And of course, this clip right here, this one right here just clips in as normal. But we're gonna tighten this one up first. And for this uh, nut here, we're using a 13 millimeter. 13 millimeter socket. pushed on the tensioner I got the belt back on here always make sure uh, it's starting to rain on it but we're gonna get it done before it starts um, always make sure that the belt is perfectly aligned and that way when you don't you know you don't want to start it up and the belt's halfway off and it flings the belt in off and tears the belt up so we're, now everything's back on there you see the light come back on on there we're gonna put the negative back on there 10 millimeter and we're gonna get it started we literally just finished as the rain let loose down on us you see my pants and everything are wet my arms wet and we just literally made it inside the car. JP ran for shelter. And uh, we're gonna start her up. Now we're gonna check the voltage. As you see, it's 14.2, 14.3. Normally, I put the windshield wipers off you guys. Normally, you would see the light flickering. It's not doing that. You guys can see that. So what I'm gonna do is turn all the accessories on and make sure that everything is fine. You wanna test everything. To put the, uh, you wanna put the alternator under load now. So what I'm going to do is turn the AC on, uh, I'm going to turn the AC on, uh, turn the radio on, as you hear the static right there from the radio, the radio's on, um, turn the vents away from me, I don't want you guys hearing all the wind from that, so I'll put it towards the floor, so I got the AC on, I got the windshield wipers on, you see it's still holding that 14.0, 14.2, I'll put the high beams on, went down to 14.0, see? She's holding strong. That's what you guys want to see. You guys want to see it, everything holding strong right there. 14.0 at the lowest, 14.2. And if you touch the gas a little bit, see how it's going up? 14.1, 14.2, see, so it's charging. When I was doing that stuff before, it wouldn't even move, but now as you see it, 14.1, I touch it lightly. I rev her a little bit, she'll go up, and then as it calms down, you know, so it'll probably go back down to 14.0 in a minute. Yep, there it goes. So that was how to change the alternator with the Corvette boys. Until next time, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. If you guys have any other technical issues with the car that you would like us to see us do, comment in this video below. Until next time, we're out.